Hi, my name is Per Adamson. I'm Head of Strategy and Portfolio Management at Volvo Group Telematics. I'm here to tell you a story around the customer value from using connected services. Welcome to a city somewhere in the world. One of the companies in the city is called the Red Flower Hollage, where Bill is the manager. Bill runs businesses in different countries, and one of Bill's challenges is that cost varies a lot between countries. He wants his suppliers to understand this and to be able to offer adaptable solutions to the right price with the right functionality. Having an outside-in mindset is crucial in developing offerings for Bill. In another part of the city sits Volvo Soft Product Planners and plan how to grow the business. The turnover of soft products, aftermarket offerings, is today approximately 30%, but a large portion is spare parts. One idea that came up a few years ago was to have all products connected, like an embedded iPhone. Volvo could provide connected services together with customers and partners. Yes, that was a good idea and is actually happening now. The whole city is being connected. Drivers, dealers, goods and leasing companies. Here are a few examples of new services. Pam is the truck driver. She works for Bill from the Red Flower Hollage. When she arrives at the dealer, she meets Tom, her personal mechanic. Tom knows everything about the truck and also a lot about Pam. Service times, driver style, location, full codes, fuel consumption. How does this work? Well, the vehicle is connected 24-7 and constantly sends information via the cloud. In another part of the city, the Green Flower Construction Company is located. Sam runs the business here and he has some problems. He has issues with his cash flow and can't pay the bills from Volvo. Volvo has waited months with several reminders and is therefore forced to remotely stop his vehicle. When the bill was paid two days later, Volvo could remotely start the machine again. Here's another problem for Sam. One of his tracks has an unplanned stop due to a warranty issue that has not been fixed. Pam has the same track, but she's still cruising along. How come? Sam's vehicle has a traditional repair process. Pam's truck is using the Vehicle Remote Diagnostic Service that gives a warning to Volvo if the truck is not doing well. Tom, Pam's service guy, fixed the problem months ago. Here's another truck from the Red Flower Haulage Company. This is a truck which is using the IC service. A smart gearbox that knows what comes ahead so it can accelerate right and apply the optimal engine braking. So how does it work? The gearboxes simply talk to each other. Once the truck has driven a route, it shares the road profile with all other IC gearboxes. This helps Bill to save a lot of fuel. Bill can clearly see the savings in fuel. Everyone is happy. Well, almost everyone. Not Peter the fuel guy. A cargo is waiting for transport and it is giving a signal that it has not been picked up. The information is sent to Bill who forwards the message to his dispatcher who then replans the assignment to another truck since the other one was stuck in traffic. Bill can relax assured that the cargo is being delivered to his customer in time. We can use the connected quantum model to summarize these examples. Let me first explain the model. Revenue is going up, cost is going down. On one side we have the OEM dealer and on the other side we have the customer driver. In quantum 1, service planning with Pam and Tom increased revenue through proactive customer management. In quantum 2, remote immobilization and remote diagnostics to minimize cost and risk. Quantum 3, IC, less fuel for the fleet operator. And Quantum 4, 
goods are always on time. In all these cases, business value has been created by making a process change. Only developing a technical service does not generate any customer value. Let's take a look at the process changes. Instead of being without spare parts and the knowledge about the problem, Tom is prepared before the customer comes in. Volvo minimizes its financial risk when customer is not paying. Less unplanned stops thanks to a proactive repair process. I see gearboxes talk to each other. We have a predictive planning process to ensure that the goods always are on time. Connected services helps our customers to be more efficient. It enables Volvo to be more proactive and get closer to our customers. This helps Volvo to increase sales of soft and hard products and becoming our customers' best partner. The ecosystem in the connected society will continue to grow. Here are a few examples of things that also will be connected. The wind power stations, the bus stops, traffic lights, and even the washing machines will be connected. Connected Services is a strategic area for the Volvo Group. We will continue to develop it further together with our customers.